So I started teaching in 1993, uh, but I think the path to, to getting there was a bit of a meandering path, where I started my undergraduate degrees in geography, where I got hooked on the idea that water and difficult politics were embedded with each other, and that you could have conversations around uh, politics through water. So I went back for a master's. I thought the key was a technical understanding, so my master's focuses on hydrogeology. I became a scientist for the US Geological Survey and found that the science was critical and not enough. And that sent me back for a PhD focusing in conflict resolution and policy analysis. And it's the combination of those really understanding that science and policy need to be bridged in the same process in order to resolve these really difficult issues. So I think water diplomacy is the bridge between uh, science and policy. In any watershed, regardless of the scale, when you're managing water, you're managing conflict. In order to understand what's there, we start with the science. We start with the ecology and the hydrology and the, and the, uh, the, the water resources um, that are there, and understanding that is critical, but it's not enough. In order to address any of the issues that we, we face, we need people involved. And people require a process, a carefully designed process, where people's interests are brought to the table, a, a, a context for dialogue is constructed in a way that allows people to bring their, their interests to the table and find the shared values that allow them to, uh, to develop a solution. I've been coming to IHE uh, to do an uh, annual short course probably for about 10 years. And um, I've been fortunate to be here as the dialogue and interest in water diplomacy has grown. Um, in the last couple of years with the Dutch government and IHE and a number of, of other partners uh, all very uh, interested in this idea of water diplomacy, it turned out that there was an option to be here for six months, really to, to be an, uh, um, uh, connected to the water diplomacy initiative and to help out however I could. Uh, both in speaking and in teaching and in and advising. Um, and it's been a wonderful experience. I've always loved coming to IHG. I like Delft. I like the institution. And it's just been a joy to be here for six months. So my day job, if you will, is as a professor of geography in the College of Earth, Ocean, and Atmospheric Sciences at Oregon State University. And Oregon State's a wonderful institution, but it's massive. And so water is just a, a small drop, if you will, of, of what goes on there. So the water community is, is tight and it's good, but we need to keep reminding the administration of the centrality and importance of water to everything that goes on uh, in an economy, in a, in a society, in a culture. Um, and that's not the case at IHG. IHG is about water. And the wonderful thing about water people, nobody gets into it for the wrong reasons. You're not going to get rich or build a, a big uh, empire around water. People generally get into water because they want to make the world a better place. So when you have a whole institution dedicated precisely to making the world a better place, it's a wonderful, it's a wonderful place to be. I always default to the, to the truism that water management is conflict management. And if you're going to manage water at whatever level, you're going to experience conflict. The more water people who are trained in these skills at whatever level, it can be within the workplace, there's going to be conflict. Between stakeholders, there's going to be conflict. Between sectors, between states, and finally between countries, uh, there's always conflict anytime we're trying to allocate a scarce resource. And so knowing the skills, knowing how to listen for the things Things that are shared across apparent divides, uh, knowing how to how to craft a, um, a setting that's conducive to dialogue and conducive to to uh, resolving disputes, I think is useful for anybody in water and probably most people in society. So the more people who are trained in these skills, I think it is it, uh, the better it is for for water and for and for society as a whole.